Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, a new line of audio interfaces that are compatible with iOS devices and a companion software app that allows you to capture audio and transfer it easily into your computer. Let's get started. At SummerNAM 2014, PreSonus introduced a new line of AudioBox audio interfaces. There's the AudioBox i1 and the AudioBox i2. Now these are compatible with Macintosh, with Windows PC, and with iOS devices. The AudioBox i1 features a microphone input, an instrument input, stereo lineouts, and a headphone output. It also has a switch that allows you to do direct monitoring so there's no latency when you're recording. What I have here today is the AudioBox i2, which is this box right here. It has two inputs that support microphone, instrument, or line level inputs, separate gain controls for each, global phantom power on off, we've got an instrument level switch for each input, and instead of a switch, we have a mix control that allows us to dial in the amount of direct monitoring that we're doing to remove latency when we're recording. We've also got a master output level and a headphone level and headphone jack on the front panel. Around back, we have stereo outputs to feed your monitors or another stereo source, and we also have MIDI input and output. When you're using the AudioBox i1 or AudioBox i2 with your computer, it can be bus powered so you don't need a power supply. When you're running it with your iOS device, you do have to power it, and you do that by actually connecting it to the charger from your iPad. So I've got a USB cable coming out of the back of the i2 that plugs into my charger from my iPad, and then there's also a 30 pin cable connected from the interface into my iPad. When you purchase an AudioBox i1 or an AudioBox i2, it comes with a free app called Capture Duo. Capture Duo is a simple recording program that allows you to track two different sources simultaneously, and you can overdub additional tracks in as well. If you need more recording capability than that, there's a full version of Capture also available on the App Store. That goes for less than $10, and it'll let you track up to 32 sources simultaneously. So let's take a look at Capture. Basically, Capture Duo and Capture look identical. When you open Capture or Capture Duo up, you're presented with this home screen. Now on this screen, you can load any sessions that you've created, you can create a new session, you can also check out your audio hardware, in this case I'm connected to an AudioBox i2, and you can set the sample rate, it will record sample rates up to 96 kilohertz. Now I've already got a session started here, so we'll go ahead and open that up. It pops right open, and what I've done is I've recorded a drum machine in, just a basic drum beat onto two tracks, and then we'll overdub on top of that. Now, if you're familiar with DAW software at all, this will look very familiar to you. We've got our tracks here. Each track has a mute, a solo button, a record button, and a monitoring button. We can also set the audio input that's feeding each track. In this case, I'm assigned to AudioBox i2's first input, and I've got the uh, second track here assigned to AudioBox i2's second input. At the bottom, we have our transport controls. Over here, we have undo and redo. This is where we set up our tempo, our time signature, and our metronome options. This little icon up here shows us how much more recording time we have available inside our iPad. And then we've got a help screen, and the X will take us back to the home screen. We can also do very basic mixing inside of Capture and Capture Duo. Click the arrow, and we'll open that up. And basically, we have the uh, level control at the top, and below that, you have the stereo pan control. Once you have some audio recorded into Capture or Capture Duo, you can do some very basic editing. If you double click on a waveform, you can cut, you can copy, and then once you've copied, you can of course paste the audio back in. You can delete the audio, you can duplicate it, which allows you to chain together loop style. And then we can also split it the cursor if you need to edit something out. But it's just basic editing. To do anything more than that, you're going to want to transfer over to your computer, and we'll show you how to do that in just a second. Let's take a look at how easy it is to record using an AudioBox i2 and capture running inside your iPad. I've got a Fender P bass here, and we'll route that straight into the first input in the AudioBox i2. And when we do that, we've got a level control here. We'll set it to instrument level. And we can see by the green LED what our level is. If we push that too far, we'll get into distortion, and we'll also see a red light begin to come on there. That looks like a nice, comfortable level. Now, once we've got that set, we'll need to add a track over here. Simply click the plus button, a new track will be created. We can name that by double clicking on the name. We'll call this bass and record arm the track. And the meter shows us that our signal is getting in. We'll want to set up a metronome so we have a count off leading into our drum part. I've got my tempo set here to 70 beats per minute. We're in 4 4 time. And by clicking on the icon, we can turn on the, uh, the metronome there. And uh, at this point, we should be pretty much ready to go. Now, I've got my mix control set to 50-50 here. That means that we'll be hearing the track coming back from the iPad, and we'll also be hearing the bass as it goes into the audio box i2. This prevents any delay. It means that there's no latency as we're tracking. So let's give this a try. Simply hit the record button.
And once we've got our track recorded, we can of course play it back, we can adjust the level, we can pan it in stereo, and we can continue adding tracks on top of that. Take this out of record, we can double click to do simple editing as we talked about earlier. Now if you want to do more extensive mixing and more extensive editing, you can easily transfer this over to your computer in Studio One software. Let's take a look at how that works. Both the AudioBox i1 and AudioBox i2 come with a free version of PreSonus' Studio One DAW software for Mac and PC. I've got Studio One installed here in my Macintosh, and so we're basically ready to go. I've got an empty song loaded up. Now the one requirement is that both your iPad and your computer have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Once they're on the same network and you're running uh, Studio One version 2.6.3 or higher, you'll be all set to go. Transferring an entire session from inside of Capture into Studio One is very easy. We just click the transfer button, it'll ask you what computer you want to send to, select that, and over here, the transfer will automatically start. Our three tracks are now completely loaded into Studio One. If we switch over and open up the mixer window, you can see that our panning and our level controls are also set the exact same as they were over in Capture, so the entire session, including all the audio contents, has been transferred directly over here. Now once you have the session transferred into Studio One, you can of course do full-on editing, you can do full mixing, you have all the plugins, all the capabilities that a full-featured DAW offers you. Now this is actually the easiest and the fastest way I've seen for transferring audio files between an iPad and a computer. All you have to do is be on the same Wi-Fi network, click the button, and as you saw, the files transfer over very quickly. The PreSonus AudioBox i1 and i2 make great choice for audio interfaces for your computer and your iPad. They have wonderful sounding preamps. Those are the award-winning Class A preamps that PreSonus developed. It has all the features that you need for quick tracking and quick capture. Now, of course, the Capture app will work with any audio interface you have connected to your iPad. Or in fact, it'll work with the built-in microphone as well. But it really is a great partner when you're using the PreSonus AudioBox i1 or i2. Shows up right inside the software and basically you're ready to record right out of the box. It's a lightweight interface, but it's very sturdy. You can toss it into your laptop bag, take it on location, then take it home, connect it to your computer when you're doing your editing in Studio One. Really is a nice system that's very efficient to use. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS Update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware accessories, and more tech tips on making music with iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.